Last time on Let's Play Suikoden, we recruited Lapont and his posse and have have a lot of new recruits to the Liberation Army. We don't have a mission, though, and the only way to get one is to walk out the front door and attempt to leave the fortress. So we come across this guy, who's lying here, who has very interesting ears. And that seems crazy. Why didn't we swim all the way here initially? I don't know. We had to find Taiho, though. Yeah, that's a good question. He swam here. Ah, it's an elf. Okay. We haven't heard anything about elves at all in this, the whole game up to this point, but there are elves, apparently. Okay. What's up with this dude? Now, we know his name is Kirkus. That's nice. And he did indeed survive. Ah, the wind. Okay. Fair enough. Freedom Castle. That's right. Yeah, we can't really get... Accommodate you there, sir. Yes, Commander Mamba. Help who? Okay, so... Quanda Roseman, we have not met him. I think he's the only one of the Imperial Generals we haven't met. And But we did hear about him. We heard that he was a defensive kind of guy. And so it's very odd that, to think that he is planning to exterminate the elves. Yeah, so let's help them. But yeah, Matthew's got a point. We don't have very many recruits even now. Even though we did get Varkus's people. Yeah, it's kind of we're kind of a ragtag bunch at this point. We're not very organized. We haven't we haven't even absorbed Flick's people yet, or any of like we don't know anything about the old Liberation Army, like what's happened to them. Yeah, but if the elves are being going to be exterminated, no doubt they'll want to help us, right? Okay, small reconnaissance mission, basically saying. You need to go do it yourself, leader. You can't just send Kryn or whoever. Seems like Kryn would be the logical person, but whatever. Trick, Get Kryn to just be a scout. Okay, so at this point, we have our new mission. We need to go help the village of the elves. And we got Kirkus in our party, and he is mandatory for this stage of the game. He's, he's got a level 5 weapon, and he is level 15, so he's significantly behind our crew, but that shouldn't matter too much. He also starts with no rune, which is something we'll want to remedy, and his equipment is rather poor. He has brass armor and a bandana. All this stuff we need to fix. But, first, we want to figure out who our next three party members should be. And, for the purposes of this moment, we want these three specific people. Now, you'll, as you'll know, Cleo and Victor are, and Kai are kind of our power crew. They're sort of our best characters at this point, right? I mean, they're all like the level we are, and Kai in particular has very, very strong skills. So we want at least Kai in our final party. But for right now, we want to include Lapont in the party, and we want to include Jupo in the party, and Taiho. And there's a very specific reason for that. On the way to the elf village, we can recruit three people that require these characters to be in our party. Now, you wouldn't know this if you just played the game, but it's hinted at in their dialogue. So we know that there's a girl who is looking for Jupo. Gaspar, the guy who I attempted to recruit in an earlier episode but failed to do, mentioned Taiho. And there's another character who would, if we ran into him, he would mention that his father is Lapont, so we need Lapont, Jupo, and Taiho in our party to recruit those characters. We don't need to keep them in the party for very long, but we do need them for right now. So let's keep mo let's get moving. The next thing I want to do is I want to designate Kirkus, give him some magic. He is a long-range fighter, and he is not quite like Cleo with regards to magic. His magic stat is not very good, which is too bad. But, so, he's not really that good as a magic fight user. However, he can be useful, so it's nice to give him something. And we can just give him, uh, I was planning on just giving him this water crystal. You could take the water crystal I gave to Camille, 
and use it for that if you want to save the money, but I figure, why not? We do not have any way of enchanting the rune on him, though, so not a big deal. I also bought some Mega Medicine and gave it to Mamba, and we also want to make sure that Kirkus has some medicine. Because we always want to make sure that every character has some medicine. Now finally, we can head out. And we will be spending a lot of time in this fortress. And also, here's Onal. Anytime you talk to her, if you're on a mission, she gives you a little hint on what you're supposed to do next. So, she's really nice to have around. That's why I like her a lot. She's, the, she's our personal man on the street. If you ever are lost, talk to her. So let's head out. Okay, we have to go to the Great Forest and go into the Forest Village. Okay, but we know where that is, so I'm not concerned about that. What I am concerned about, however, is recruiting these next three people. That's going to be our main focus for this video, and we're probably going to try to get through the Great Forest as well. So, the first person we want to recruit is obviously this little girl here. Uncle Jupo, I was looking for you. We have to have Jupo in your party in order to have this done. She wants to become a trickster. And we get her... To, yeah, he's trying to convince her not to join because she's a little girl, but whatever. It's sort of dumb that we get this little girl into the group. And he doesn't seem too happy about it, but we don't really care about you, Jupo. Also, I should mention, Jupo is level 10. He has this trick rune, which we can never remove. And his stats are not very strong. Like, he's not... Like, even compared to somebody like Kirkus, his power is pretty pitiful, and it wouldn't go up even very much if we were to upgrade his weapon, so I don't think he's really worth having in your party for very long. Now, the next thing we want to do is save at the inn here. Please save at the inn. It's a very wise decision. Save here. I just have to remember which save file is the correct one to save over, but... Okay. So we've saved at the end. Now I have a very specific reason why I want to save at the end. And you will understand it in a second. Now we have to go try to recruit Gaspar. Let's talk to him. If you don't have Taiho in your party, you will not get this piece of dialogue. He will say the same thing he always has said. Now we are able to play him in dice. Joy. So this is, this is the terms of his joining us. If we win 5,000 bits from him, he will concede defeat. And we don't need to know how the game is played because we've already done it. Now, usually I just bet this much. And the reason is because I have a lot of money. It's not a big deal. So let's just bet that. You can bet 5,000 or however much you need. We win immediately. We got really lucky. He pays double. We actually earn 18,000 bits. And we get him immediately. So there you go. And Gaspar is going to be our main source of money, and we will be playing a lot of that dice, but not on camera, so you won't have to sit through it like I will. Now, final member of our recruitment here is not in this town. Well, you know what? I'm going to upgrade Jupo's weapon just because. This is totally stupid. I don't... This, you probably shouldn't do this. This is just a waste of money, but I'm going to do it just because I feel bad for him. Let's give him that. Oh, let's... Yeah. He also has this trick rune, which is sort of interesting. I'll try to show it off, but I might might fail. If we don't get into an encounter on the way, I won't bother, but I'll try to show it off. Okay. Actually, I'm going to show it off. It's sort of interesting. Of course, the random encounters don't love me when I want them. They only love me when I hate them. Come on. Whatever. We'll get it on the way back. Okay, so the next guy is in Saika. And I believe he's in here. I'm actually not positive. He should be in the inn. Indeed. So let's talk to this girl here. She's saying I'm lying. Lady Odysseus is apparently safe. We've talked to these people already. This is the guy we want to talk to. Ah, Sheena. Sorry, he's busy right now. And he goes and hits on this girl. Our family's rich. And then that's why you need Lapont Because this is Lapont's son. And Lapont will <laughs> dress him down. Yeah. 
Oh man, that sounds rough. Nope, oh, so we got Sheena. Sheena's actually a pretty capable character. Of course, we lose Lapont. He, he goes back to base, so it's really worthwhile to... The fact that we're only here in this weird town here. Ah, I can also use this opportunity to go to this rune area. Rune Master. And I can attach the water rune to... Water crystal to Kirkus. Which would be nice. He'll be a nice little healer. He's mandatory for this upcoming stretch of the game, so it's... He's decent. It's good to have him have a little bit of magic, even though he's not very good at it. He's no Cleo. Okay, so that was the recruitment drive. So now we just need to head back to the base. And I didn't get to show you Drupo's trick rune, oh well. Maybe at the end of the game I'll show off all this, all that stuff. I do plan on having a sort of ending episode. I wouldn't say it's, it's probably going to be the one pr the episode right before the finale. Oh, and now that we've recruited all these members, our hideout has increased in size. And every time that happens, you'll see this little shit, this little clip showing how, how bigger it is, how much bigger it got. And now it, its layout will be somewhat different, not radically different, but somewhat different. I, th I believe we should have three floors now instead of two. Indeed, four. Pardon. So we have the basement in the first, second, and third floors. And this will be the sort of final layout of our hideout. It will increase in size, but it will look like this for the rest of the game. So notice how before we had the blacksmith on the same floor. Now we have Gaspar here. He is, and then each of these will be shops. There will be shops all the way over here, and we'll basically have an easy access shopping. But our blacksmith will be on a different area. We also have this new area out here, which leads to... I believe it leads to where Lepant's family lives. Indeed. So these are all members of Lepant's family or and his retinue. So he has Sheena here. He's hit talking about Cleo. Giovanni here. His wife, Eileen, is here. And then up here is just Lepant himself. So it's sort of cool. This is where Lepant's people stay. And you'll notice that as we recruit more and more people, they will fall into sort of groups, and those groups will be placed together. So it's sort of cool, you know, and it feels very natural. Here's Varkas and Sidonia, I believe I've talked to them. He just misses being a bandit. Why did you join us then? Sidonia is morose as always. I shouldn't say morose, I mean mute as always. And this area has expanded. There's nothing over there, though. Nobody's over there right now. And our second floor has turned into where Rock is the bathhouse area, and where the blacksmith is. So that's very cool. It's all very nice. Kai himself is out here, and there's going to be a lot more people out here later. Onal walks around in this area, and then we also have the third floor, which is sort of our artisan floor. I don't believe anything's here right now. We have our meeting area and a bunch of bedrooms. And there shouldn't be much here. We just have Luke. And I don't know if Matthew's here. Yes, he is. So Matthew is here. And we, we're actually looking for him, specifically. So we want to remove Taiho, and we want to remove Jupo from the party. We don't want them in our party. At this point, we want to get our power, to, uh, our power members, our stronger members. And one of those members from now on is going to be Pawn, and I have a very good reason for that. Later in the game, Pawn will be involved in a life or death situation, and it's only him. So you want to make sure that Pawn is of a proper level to take care of it. And if he dies in that part of the game, he is dead for the rest of the game, and you will never be able to recruit all the characters ever, because you, Pawn is required to get the best ending of the game. So make sure that from now on, whenever possible, it, I mean, until that point in the game, you use Pawn. So Pawn is sort of, like I said, remember earlier in the game, I mentioned that Pawn is sort of like our replacement for Victor. And that's how I view Pawn. Usually I will use Pawn over Victor in a lot of situations. Pawn is a lot like Victor. His skills are very similar to Victor's. He has the Boar rune, which is very similar to how Victor's clone rune, which I gave him. They're very similar type of characters. So, you either if Victor's involved, 
you probably shouldn't use pawn, and and if Victor's not involved, you probably should use pawn, at least until that point in the game. So now that we have that straightened out, this is going to be our crew that we use to attempt to save the elves. We now have one last thing to do, and that is we need to upgrade equipment of people. Notice how Kirkus has crappy equipment, and so does Pawn, because Pawn is an old member. He His equipment dates from back in Gregminster, in that area, Lennon Camp. So now we need to upgrade those guys. And that's a two-step process, and it's not always as fun as it can be. Kaku is the first place we want to go, because that has hats. It has pointed hats, which is what we want. Kai could also use a pointed hat. And I bought that on the wrong person, but it's not a big deal. So, next, we want to sell all their junk. We don't need any of that stuff. The only thing we want to keep is this pointed hat on Pawn. There you go. Now, send this over to Pawn. Meant Kirkus. Pointed hat is good. Okay. And then, we have to go to Kuon as well and upgrade their equipment there. Now, we will be upgrading everyone's equipment before much longer, and you don't necessarily have to do this, but there is a dungeon between where we're where we will upgrade our weapons or our excuse me, our armor and the final area. So bear that in mind. You can risk it, but I think it's smart to just make a couple little stops before we go to that place. I think it's worthwhile. So, we're going to upgrade everyone's armor as best we can. Pawn can only equip the karate uniform, which is okay. Kirkus can use this leather armor. I don't know if I have a spare. I don't believe I don't believe I do. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to him. And we want emblems on everybody. Emblems all around. Everybody you can equip emblems should at this point. Now, we're ready to go. Now that we're ready to go, we want to head for the forest village. And let me quickly do this, and we're ready. Now, the forest village, as you'll remember, is our kind of grind spot. This is the part of the game where we're supposed to actually go through that grind spot. So, they gave us Kirkus at level 15, which is, I think is a little strange considering the fact that we will have to basically go through that area, which will level him up radically, really quickly. Also, I'll, just to demonstrate, because we have Pawn, I might as well use this. The Master Pupil attack will completely annihilate these enemies. Just one hit everything. It's so good. Never underestimate that attack. And that will help us because it basically just gets Pawn a little bit ready. Got him a, 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 two levels, that's nice. Now. Now that we're at the Great Forest... We get this little cutscene. He mentions that elves are coming in and out of here, and now he's freaking out because Kirkus is indeed an elf. So he's talking about the secret elfin trail, which is just the area we've already been to. Now that we're here, we get this little scene with Kirkus. We have to have Kirkus in order to do this. Without you, him, we will get lost. But what awaits us beyond this trail? And will we, can we count on the elves to help us defeat the Imperials? What is Kawanda Roseman up to? Find out on the next episode of Let's Play Suikoden. I'll see you later.